Hello and welcome, my giddy giddy go go girls. How you doing today? It's Super John Bombo here, and we are ready to have some fun with you guys. We're actually gonna start off with a quick dart monkey in the very very bottom here. We're gonna go whoop just like that. Put him on last. We're gonna go for a quick crossbow as soon as we possibly can, and that should get us uh, pretty far in here until we can get Captain Churchill right. So, um, in today's video, you guys probably know by now that uh, I've been doing a lot of like podcasty type random videos here where I just sort of talk about a topic that interests me and maybe will interest you guys. Um, I'm probably going to talk a little bit more about my um, my past experiences fairly soon, but for now I've just been going on from random topics that just interest me. And I think the one that interests me that probably is actually sort of important in real life right now is, is the coronavirus. So in my previous video I talked about viruses and whether or not they were a living or a non-living thing. And I basically came up with the answer that they are non-living, and I explained why. And if you guys want to feel free to check it out, go ahead, man. It's, it's hard, magic monkeys only. Um, but, uh, on trees now. But, um, for the coronavirus, again, it's a non-living thing. It doesn't really try to infect humans. It just sort of exists and, like, will randomly now that it infects humans, propagate, you know, like natural selection style. Like, that's what's going on right now. Just got naturally selected to say, hey, I got instead of a human one time. Now uh, I can, you know, make more of myself. And I found out that I can infect humans. And now I can just sort of transfer and propagate and go, 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 go. So uh, a lot of people have been bringing up the fact that this is sort of like uh, the game Pandemic. Um, you start off <clears throat> with a a virus and you give it special properties you give it ways that it can be transferred from from uh, thing to thing and you know whether you've got uh, uh, the ability to transfer it through birds or rats or or what's the the, the the ability to kill somebody you don't want it to be too too killy because if you make it uh, uh, um, make it kill people too easily <clears throat> And you can't transfer it fast enough, you know? Like, that's what happens with kind of like Ebola. Uh, it's uh, obviously pretty dangerous and all that stuff, but it has a lower infection rate than most of the diseases because it kills people too fast. Um, it, it was just, it's kind of sad if you really think about it, but like, if it had a very high incubation rate where it could kind of go around and just infect other people without you even knowing that you have it for a long time, then it kills you. Well, that would be pretty freaking dangerous, man, wouldn't it? Heck yeah, it would. So right now what we got going on is we, uh, we've we got to deal with double health moabs. So we're going to have to get some stuff that can deal with double health moabs. That's really all we got to think about. Frostbow and Captain I'm Churchill, ready. not really the best moab pop power towers over here. Not bad either, but not the best at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for a <coughs> quick super monkey right in the middle here. I don't know why, I just like him. Right. We go for a quick super monkey right there. And uh, we're going to basically get him up to plasma as fast as we possibly can. All right, that in combination with Captain Churchill, in combination with our Dart Monkey, is just a good combo. Plus, you can get the knockback ability of the uh, bottom path over here, which can give us that kind of, like, slowdown of all the stuff. All right, um, I'm a big fan of the Sun Avatar, by the way, if you only have to go through 80 rounds. Like, if you can afford that guy, I say go for him. He, he's actually strong all the way up to around, like, 90 or so, but then he starts to lose his edge. But anyways, the coronavirus is uh, quite scary. Um, you know, the question is, is like, is the, is the media just playing it up? Like, is it, is it really not that bad? And the media just wants to, to pretend like it's terrible. So you uh, are scared for your life and, and you watch more news about the coronavirus. Like, oh, is that really happening? Maybe, maybe a little bit. You know, I, I think they, they do like to, to make that happen <laughs> generally. Um, they, they like to, the media does kind of do that. You know what I'm also going to do before I get anything else? I'm going to go for a quick heli. Go for a heli. We're going to put him on... Uh, for now, we're just going to lock him in place right here. Whoop, right in the middle. Right next to everybody. Just bundle him up for now. <coughs> but, um... Uh, the media might be doing that a little bit. But I will be straight with you and say that from a person who has, you know, not... Doesn't have a PhD in, in virology or something like that. But somebody who has a basic knowledge about viruses... Uh, I would say that I am kind of afraid, um, uh, or just using, I guess, somewhat of a, of a logic standpoint, like, if a disease has an infection rate of more than one, it should propagate through and infect a lot of people. Uh, you know, obviously, eventually, a lot of things die out. Not everybody gets infected, either, um, whether you have your own, uh, antibodies against it, or you, your immune system is doing well and is able to fight it off, 
before it becomes an infection, or whether you've seen that a similar virus before, and you've already had antibodies for it. Like, there's a lot of reasons why you might not get uh, anything happening. Here we go. Laser Blast. We don't get a Plasma Blast upgrade yet. So we're just going to go for a Pursuit Alley Pilot here. We're just going to clean this up with a Captain Churchill upgrade. Kablamo. Don't forget, these are double health Moabs, guys. That means you got to pop that Moab. Now, this isn't even that bad. Double health Moab is just the health of the Moab itself. Alternate Bloom Rounds is the health of the Moab, and you've got those beefy ceramics to pop inside as well. That's difficult. Here we go. We've got these nice plasma blasts, though. Good, good, good. Looking good for us right now. Uh, we don't have a lot of camera detection at the moment, though. We've got two towers that do. Let's make it three that do. And, uh, so let these guys just go to town. I don't think we go for a quick Sun Avatar, we go for a quick Apache Dart Ship. Call it a day, right? And that's how we do it, man. That's how we do it. Get some decent towers in here, let them work together, and yeah, you, you just beast through this one. Uh, <clears throat> so, to me, though, if, if you have an infection rate of more than one, unless you shut it down pretty quickly, which doesn't seem to be happening, unless you shut it down pretty quickly, it'll eventually sort of just propagate. And I'm using the word propagate a lot, but it'll just flow through the entirety of humanity almost. There's almost no stopping it once it once it gets going. Um, after it leaves uh, a couple different places, it's hard to stop. Because um, you basically have to have uh, methods in place to stop these viruses from coming here and keep them out forever. Uh, and what's happening here is it's a fairly slow burn. It's not just an all at once, uh, everybody's getting, you know, sick, and then we're just done with it, right? It's a slow burn. People are slowly getting sick. One infects two, two infects three and a half, three and a half infects seven, seven infects twelve, you know, like, eventually it's gonna affect a lot of freaking people. And I think that's what's happening right now. China tried to shut it down. Maybe they did a bad job of it. I don't know. But they tried to shut it down. At least they, they tried. And it seems like... Uh, it has kind of failed, and I think uh, all these other countries, you have to rely on every single country to try and do their own work to try and shut it down, and that's difficult to do. Um, so, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I like, I like to think that the, the governments of the world will be able to figure out a, a, a way to, to, to quarantine people and stop it, but I don't think they will. Um, I think it is going to be a worldwide pandemic, and it means that a lot of people will get sick. Now, the good news about this virus is it seems like the death rate is, is, is high, but not unreasonably high. It's, you know, it's killing off people that would probably die from a, a pretty severe flu or something like that. Um, which means it's not unreasonable for them to die from something like that. You know, they're either immunocompromised, or very old, or very, very young, or they've got some sort of sickness um, already, which is, again, very sad. It's, it's sad. You don't want these people to die, but it's like... Any normal, regular, healthy person is unlikely to die, which is always good news. The normal, regular population might get sick, but they'll eventually feel better. That's what you want to have happen. It's not like Ebola, where you can have a very healthy, normal, regular, everyday, healthy 30 or 5 year old man who just gets sick and dies automatically. You know, like, no, you're just not going to make it. Like, sorry, you know, 60, what is it, a 65% chance of dying or something like that? Uh, at least in Africa. I don't know if it would be better somewhere else. Probably. But, um... That's sad, of course. Uh, very sad. And that's why it's so scary, though, is that uh, a lot of people will be fine, but there's going to be those few me those few percents of people that will not be fine. Um, and I feel the worst for the people who either have cancer or uh, are immunocompromised already, or the people that were just born. That like you know, if you get this when you're a little kid, like you might you're probably gonna die, or you might die. Um, you have a higher chance of dying. Like, that. that's just so sad. Um, and I think, uh, basically, you know, the, 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 the term, the cat's out of the bag, I think that's what's happening right now. I think that shutting it down is kind of already too late. I don't know if it can be done anymore. Um, I like to think that it, it's possible, and we'll, we'll be able to do it, but I just don't know, man. I don't know, man. It seems so difficult to make that happen. Again, you have to basically get almost all the governments in on it, uh, to make it worthwhile, because if it spreads to, to any one country, um, besides China, like, they're already saying, oh, let's shut down people going to China. Oh, crap. All right, well, that sucks. 
but like if that goes to India or something like that, well, let's stop everybody from going to India. Well, if it goes to the UK, let's stop everybody from going to the UK. You just can't do it. You know, like it's so hard to make that happen. Uh, to just shut people down, completely shut them out. Say, no, you can't come back to your home country, or, like, you can't go on vacation, you can't see your family anymore. Uh, when you had plane tickets and all this stuff that you're, like, excited and ready to go for, like, it's just so hard to do. Um, uh, it's hard to, to tell people that they can't do that or something like that. I don't know. I don't, it's hard to explain. So, you know what? I changed my mind. Let's go for a crossbow master instead of the, uh, Apache dart ship here. I like this guy a lot. I think he's in a really cool spot, so we're gonna go for the crossbow master, you guys. Boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as far as um, everything else is concerned, again, you don't have to believe me. You don't. You don't have to trust me here. But I think that it's gonna get way, way worse. I really do. Um, I will. I get it. I think it's possible. I think I might. I think I might get it. I mean, my girlfriend's going on a plane this this um, this week. And I, I think it's very unlikely for her to get it like at this point. But I think it's just going to sort of exponentially grow throughout the the, the population for a long time. Um, and it's going to be sort of a slow burn. It's going to be more and more and more and more and more and more and more. Um, it's going to just be talked about for a year or two years or something like that. And eventually it'll sort of just die out or the cases, the, the amount of cases that are happening are just too low to be worried about anymore, you know, we're like extremely pandemic worried about, like, oh, everybody got it, <laughs> you, know, you know, like, everybody who's gonna get it already got it, that's the basic way to put it. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of my random thoughts about it, again, I could be 100% wrong, it could just be shut down in a couple weeks, you know, maybe, uh, something like that could happen. Another thing that's kind of important to think about is at this point, I'm just talking about the fact that, you know, viruses are generally, uh, not incurable, but usually inhelpable. Uh, you can't really help that much against viruses. There's certain cocktails that you can give people to sort of limit the viral load that's happening and help your immune system sort of fight it off. Or there's certain things that you can give your body to make sure your immune system is able to do everything that it wants to do. But generally, there's no, like, pill you can give somebody that's just like, boop, you're better. You can't stop a virus. Uh, right now, with current medical technology, it's hard, difficult to stop a virus uh, in any reasonable way. But there are things like vaccines that, that might be developed to stop the coronavirus that could either stop people from getting it entirely uh, or um, something along those lines. Definitely a possibility there. So we're looking forward to, you know what, maybe m most nations that are, are fairly wealthy will just get enough people that are immunized that it just kind of doesn't spread through the population even better kind of like herd, Im herd immunity for everybody right and i think that if it did start becoming sort of big i think that i would get the vaccine for myself i don't see why i should even um uh first of all uh give my myself the ability to get sick but then i would feel bad if i gave the ability for other people who can't get the vaccine or don't have the ability to have um um, ways to fight off these these diseases. I, I feel so bad if, if somebody like that died because I gave them the coronavirus or something like that, you know? And that's why I think vaccines are very, very important. Um, the, the flu vaccine is kind of important. I, I, I advocated against and for it back and forth. I'm sort of 50-50 on whether you should get it or not. I think that uh, some people should get it, some people shouldn't. Um, if you're ever in a spot where people are sick around you a lot, I think you should get it. If you're in a spot where I work from home and never see anybody, like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I Hard to say, but most other vaccines, though, boom, just get them, man. There's so many diseases out there that are just easily stopped by just a single single shot that you just, like, never have to worry about again. Or you can get a shot every, like, 10, 15 years. Like, pfft. Heck yeah, man, get one of those shots. That's so cool. That's, like, the power of, of medical technology right there. Hundreds of years of medical technology all in your, in that little needle right there. Poop done. Poof done. I didn't mean to say poop. But there it is, guys. That's my weird view on uh, the coronavirus. Um, you guys can like me or dislike me, whatever you want to do. But I really appreciate the like if you did enjoy this video. Um, we did a pretty good job overall. It's a pretty simple way to play the game. Even a double health zone, oh my god, doesn't have nothing on us right there. Boom, boom. Thanks so much for watching. Have a super duper delicious day.